Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, well that's Frontier Bricks, and welcome to the fourth and final part of my review of the LEGO City 2023 Advent Calendar. Also, this video is planned to come out on Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas everybody, or whatever or holiday you celebrate, whether it be Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you, you guys, happy holidays. So, once again, it's time for the fourth and final part of an advent calendar. This is the third and final advent calendar, having already done in the last, two, two, last part, few days of Marvel and Star Wars. So this is the end of my little Lego advent calendar adventure, uh, which I have quite been, very, which I have enjoyed quite a bit. And from the all the uh, views and likes I have been seeing on all the videos, I think you guys have been enjoying it too. So as I said in the other three videos, don't be too surprised if this becomes a yearly thing. So, we have gone through days 1 through 18, it's time for days 19 through 24. So we already know we're going to be getting Santa and Mrs. Claus here. I'll bet you those are days 23 and 24 respectively. So we still got four things that we don't know what we're getting. So, let's go ahead and find out. Alright, day 19 is all done, and of course, what would be Christmas without Christmas dinner? So, we got a nice simple little table here in red and green, plus a nice little candelabra. Didn't know Lumiere was going to be invited to Christmas dinner. But, of course, we need dinner, so they give us a full Christmas turkey, which is ironically more than we got with the Marvel calendar. All we got was a simple table with oh, with a chicken leg. Stark, Stark must have been cheaping out, out on Christmas dinners, because we actually get bigger Christmas digger. Lego City, then we did Lego Marvel. So, simple, but it's definitely necessary. Alright, day 20 is all done, and we got ourselves a handful of micro Oh, build. First off, someone left some milk and cookies for Santa. Those are printed cookies, and I believe that might be the same uh, uh, p uh, piece for the blue milk uh, from the blue milk milk blue milk Luke that we got for the Skywalker saga uh, poly bag. It's a simple little table, but it's a nice little addition. And along with that, we got ourselves a little Chihuahua. And a man with a bowl of food and water for him. Uh, this is my first time getting a, well, one of my first times getting a Lego dog. First time with a Chihuahua. And, uh, it's interesting for a Chihuahua. Uh, honestly, when I first took a look at this thing, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it might be like a, like a stuffed bear or something for underneath the tree. But nope, it's a Chihuahua. Uh, cute little guy. So, uh, yeah, that's day 21. Wait. No, day 20. My bad. Alright, now for our actual day 21. And I guess I was a little off on the last two days, because day 21 is Mrs. Claus. Good, lo uh, good, looking, uh, good looking figure. Er, uh, er, I like the fact that uh, the legs are dual molded, so you can have both the pants and the boots. Oops, and she does have an alternate face. Nice quiet, content, and uh, honestly, I'm starting to think this might be the uh, granny from uh, from Hoodwinked, because they also gave her a snowboard. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting that for Mrs. Claus. So, yeah, Mrs. Claus has a snowboard. Didn't see that one coming, but still, good looking figure, nice, nice little addition. I'm gonna, I'm calling this one a win. Alright, day 22 is all done, and we've got Santa's sleigh. Simple. Oh, Bill, but definitely effective. Interesting you I must say, interesting use for these Ninjago-style broadsword or it seems on the sled for the skis. But it certainly works. Looks like we got a clip on the back here. Maybe, might be, maybe that's why you're supposed to attach uh, Santa's bag to, uh, to, on the sled. But nice little build. Certainly goes along with the reindeer that we got in part one. I want to say that was d either day three or four. But yeah, simple, cute. I like it. All right, day 323 is all done, and it was an extension for the sled. It just wasn't, it was something to attach to the sled. It just wasn't Santa's bag. It was a sled extension. And there's something and make it make the sled all the more, bi all the bigger. Uh, this time they use the, the usual uh, one by two with little oh, plates with uh, these uh, oh, 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 Except for uh, this skis, so nothing as crazy as a sword. 
But yeah, it's a simple little build. Let's see what these guys look to get uh, look con con how these guys look connected. There we go. It looks like you need to have it just a bit. There we go. It looks like you need to have the the uh, connector uh, slanted and angled to, uh, for them to be touched instead of taking together flat. But yeah, it, it's nothing crazy, but it's but I think it works. And then finally, day twenty four, Christmas Eve, we have the big man himself, Saint Nicholas. Good to uh, printing on the torso again, and nice addition with the dual molded legs. Of course, he's got his usual bag. Okay, uh, let's see. There we go. Here's how his head looks like without the beard attachment. So certainly looks good without it. Surprisingly, they actually provide an extra beard for Santa. So I wasn't expecting that. And again, oh. Uh, uh, and then got a good, oh, good hat for him. I, be honest, uh, when I first saw it, I thought it might be dual molded, but no, uh, uh, but it, uh, from looks of things, I took a look inside the hat. It's just white. I, I think the red's just painted on there. So, Alright, good all these, uh, good decent uh, uh, printing on the uh, on the back on the back as well. So yeah, this is a solid Saint Nicholas. And here is all the extra parts from all 24 days. Not nearly as many. Yeah, as with the Star Wars or Marvel characters, but still a good amount. I think the most surprising thing is actually all the way from back from day one, there are three of these extra ski masks here. There's also we got uh, also got an extra skate. Like I said, uh, like I said uh, just a few seconds ago, they provide a second uh, beard for or Santa, uh, extra gamer headset with the gamer, uh, extra plain beast. It's of um the. From the fireplace, extra cookie for from the milk and cookie table. Other than that, nothing too crazy, but still quite a few extra pieces. All right, so believe it or not, I actually managed to squeeze all the gifts was onto the little display. We got the full setup here with the well, with the two kids. Kid, uh, the guy's still on his, his uh, computer. The tree is all set up with plenty of presents around. We got the table with the milk and cookies over here in the corner. The girl's trying to get the kitty cat out of the tree, out of the uh, the cat tree. Then we got the chihuahua over there having di having in in Christmas dinner, and then we got the hockey player over there on the lake, ink ink playing some hockey. We got the snowman right over there by the lake, ink. I've actually moved around quite a bit, so now the lamp post is over there by the sign for the North Pole, and then we got our ice sculptor. Er, uh, er, uh, back, back there in the back, the uh, caroler is still singing her carols with the fireplace, it's, and the grandfather clock uh, flanking her along with the Christmas dinner. And then, as you see, Santa and Mrs. Claus have just rode into town. So, I think I got a nice little setup here. Uh, all right. So, final thoughts and review for forty dollars. I'd, uh, I'd certainly say that this was a, is this is an easier uh, pill to swallow compared to the other two. Again, nothing too crazy, but when it comes to uh, when it comes to the advent calendars, this is the one that feels the most Christmassy to me. Where where you definitely got like a full setup for Christmas Christmas Eve, and then of course Santa and Mrs. Claus being added in. You got yourself a Christmas caroler, Chris uh, Christmas dinner. Got a got a bit of a not to mention you got a bit of a setup for almost kind of like a winter festival all alongside it as well. So yeah, of of the of the Christmas calendars, um, for the full setup, I think this is my I think this is my preferred one, which is to be honest, was the one I, is something I was surprised about. The for full for a full setup, mind you, this is my uh, this is my personal favorite. Like which to be honest, was kind of caught me by surprise. This is the one I was of the three advent calendars. This was the one. I was the most hesitant of buying, and yet I think, of uh, for a full for a full setup, uh, of the full combination of all the gifts, this is my this is my preferred favorite. So, um, again, forty uh, with the five dollars less, it's on the price tag. It's oh, it's easier to swallow. Oh, my first preferred favorite setup, good setup at that, and uh, this is. 
uh, this might be the one I like the most, almost overall. But that might differ over uh, comparing the, the three calendars uh, day by day, which I will be doing in, which uh, as a video on its own. Uh, that video will probably come out New Year's Eve. But that will do it for not only this video, but this entire journey of going through all three of these advent calendars over the holiday season. Thank you for joining me for both this video and the entire journey. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys know what to do. You can check out my channel and the now complete LEGO 2023 advent calendar journey on the end screen in just a few seconds. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later everybody!